so <coughs> good morning team <coughs> so today we are focusing on the, like uh, to exception filter okay so uh, how how we are creating exception filter in uh, mvc netcore mvc and how we are apply uh, at controller level and uh, at action level okay so let me share my screen okay so <coughs> uh you can uh, open the visual studio okay <clears> 2022 <throat> so before that <coughs> filter like uh, uh, exception filter like uh, what is the exception filter so whenever uh, we are getting the runtime exception at our action method or a controller level so automatically this exception filter will be uh, a call and they will uh, track the errors okay so i will create a new project here and uh, before that uh, in mvc we have a different type of a filter okay filter is nothing but like if you want to like execute some logic before action executed or like uh, before action executing or before uh, after action executing. That is uh, that is the agenda of the filters. OK, so uh, we have the like uh, uh, authentication, authorization filter, OK, action filter, resource filter. <clears throat> then we have the exception filter and uh, today we are focusing on a uh, exception filter. So here I'm creating a new project in uh, ASP.NET Core and I will put called as a uh, exception filter. OK. So I have put it a name called as exception filter and uh, I have choose the net core 8.0. OK, authentication type is none. So I'm creating here that a uh, new project to understand uh, how we are creating exception filter. OK, so as we know, like we have the uh, this folder structures like root folder, controller folder, model and the view. OK, these are the pure component we are considering the whenever we are creating a new project. OK, so here to implement like a filters. OK, in your project, you can create a new folder called as a filter. OK. Here you can mention as a filter and uh, you can create one class called as a uh, here I'm creating one class. OK, so you can put name called as a custom uh, exception filter. OK, because uh, we are creating our own custom filter whenever we require the uh, put the error log. OK, so here uh, I'm creating a exception printer okay so here uh, uh, it's a pure normal class okay uh, and when when we required uh, when we need to implement the exception printer we need to inherit the uh, class okay class is the attribute uh, okay that attribute class and we require the i exception printer okay See, uh, exception filter. Oh, this is the uh, interface where we need to implement the uh, I exception filter. Okay, so I don't know attribute. Okay, so. OK, so here uh, this error is uh, this warning is saying like a custom exception filter does not implement the interface. So we have the on exception method. OK, if you go to that, uh, that predefined interface. OK, so here we have the uh, on exception method. OK, so you can uh, give here to implement because we are inheriting the interface. OK, whenever we are inheriting any interface, we need to implement that method. OK, so here you can mention here in contacts we have uh, get the response of that errors. OK, so I mean, so this this we are receiving the errors here. OK. So you can mention as a contacts dot result uh, is equal to new JSON result, or you can mention the contacts dot error message. Contact dot exception dot error 
Uh, okay, you can mention the here the inner inner exception or a message also. Okay, so here we have with the all details like a stack a stack trace, a inner exception, a message, whatever you want to do here. Okay, so you can put here the some log mechanisms. Okay, log uh, or you can. Uh, implement the seri logs okay log for net whatever you have the definition in your project okay or you can mention here the like uh, uh, to uh, render the uh, custom view okay to render the custom view if you want to like uh, display the uh, user friendly message to the end customer so you can uh, just log the errors and uh, redirect that particular page where you have defined the user friendly message okay so this is the agenda uh, uh, this is the method where we are implementing this exception so we have created this custom exception filter now next steps is like uh, to implement uh, this exception okay so we have consumed that uh, whatever we have created that filter exception filter we have the we need to consume at controller level also or if you want to like uh, uh, do the uh, catching uh, or at particular exception level uh, that action level also okay so how we are consuming you can just like a square bracket and you can put the custom uh, exception Filter. Okay, uh, why we are getting the red here? Because we are not uh, refer that uh, uh, namespace because uh, where it's created, uh, this filter is created here. Like uh, this is the namespace, so then it's uh, getting here. Okay, now if if you hear program.cs file, we have the home and the action method is the index. So it's a starting of the page and I will put the debugger point here. OK, index page and. Uh, OK, if I'm uh, getting the error, uh, then it's called automatically that custom exception filter that is the on exception method. OK, if if we are not getting the error, it's nothing will be a normal page will be hitting. OK, I will run the uh, application here. Uh, without any error, okay. Now, um, if you see here, uh, our application will be compiled successfully, and now a uh, page is rendering into the browser. So it's converting the this uh, CSS HTML page into the DOM element, okay. So it's uh, I have put in the debugger point. See here, uh, this home and the privacy page is coming, okay. Now we we need to uh, create the errors okay suppose i i will put here uh, true uh, new exception okay yeah uh, this this i will create a custom exception creating a runtime exception okay so here I will put this way and whenever we are hitting this private space, then our uh, custom exception will be hit automatically. OK, so if you see here, I will rerun the application again and we'll see how it works in a background to uh, hit automatically uh, this on exception methods when we are getting the runtime exceptions. OK, so it's a page is rendering perfectly on a home page and now I'm clicking on a privacy. OK, and if you see here, we have created the uh, exception and I will F10. And after F10, it's automatically uh, coming into the on exception method. OK, and if you see all stack trace coming here, if you see the like exception, uh, then we have the masses, stack trace, everything will be coming and you can read those uh, component here in that exception on exception method. OK. And I will uh, F5 the application. If you see here, that JSON uh, result will be automatically. So this is the way uh, to implement a custom exception at global level. Okay, because uh, every controller we can't uh, put and try catch. Okay, so whenever like just like uh, you can implement this way in you in your real applications. Uh, OK, this is the view and you can put as the catch catch exception EX and you can put that throw OK here like. Uh, uh, throw. 
pro ex okay that means ki uh, that means whenever we are getting this error we are throwing and whenever we are throwing that will be automatically calling this on exception filter and we are passing the all our contacts into the exception contacts and here we have the facility to put uh, our error in notepad file at application level log or db level log okay or you can uh, mention after adding this log in auditing purpose you can render the user friendly views where user can see the what is the happening in my this request okay so this is the way uh, guys uh, sim very simple to implement exception filter at our microservice level or mvc level okay so i will just like again uh, putting here uh, the steps okay so you can uh, exception filter implement implementation steps okay so first first kya hai we need to create filter folder in our solution okay then second steps we need to create one class called as a custom exception filter okay why why we are putting this name ki uh, if if any developer comes in our code so see he can easily understand this is a custom exception filter okay then third steps we need to inherit inherit attribute class okay and i exception filter okay where that interface method okay that interface uh, class interface we have a on exception method okay then four steps we need to implement we need to implement on exception on exception method okay which is available into i exception filter okay then fifth steps on exception method fill or write our custom error catch either db level or application error file application error file okay and then okay six steps okay after logging logging the error we need <coughs> to redirect error view where we have implement user user friendly message so end user will be like uh, uh, don't confuse the where i am wrong which data i am putting the wrong in a request okay so this is the steps and uh, seventh steps so we need uh, <coughs> we need to put this custom attribute okay custom exception filter attribute at controller level or <coughs> action level so how we are putting here the last steps is eight square bracket uh, you were uh, Uh, your class name you can copy here and you can put and then your controller name like for example public whatever we have in a home controller like this way okay so this is the uh, steps where we are 
implement exception filter very simple steps okay if you want more information about this uh, video you can contact to the itbooster.com where we are and where we are given the every concept in depth level at practical level okay so thank you guys if you want to contact me 80 70 no or you can mention the 820 8207019040 this is the official contact number for it boosters you can connect okay if you want like upgrade your knowledge upgrade your the console application concept like a c# pure concept okay how we are implementing the filters action filter exception filter authorization filter okay we will give the very simple steps what are the steps to implement the every concept in detail level thank you guys bye bye have a nice day